<laughs> you know me. I'm your lovable grandpa, snorting Viagra and fighting off ninjas that only I can see. How are you guys? Hello. I just saw some weird ass Genshin porn. Good evening. Slash morning. Hmm? Hi. Dude, did you know there's Genshin porn? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's a game. How can you snort Viagra painfully? Dude, dude, dude. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was on the Twitter and um, I saw it was the little character and she's so cute. And I clicked on it and she was like at a little pond and um, she was drinking the water and it was making different parts of her body grow, specifically her ass. And she's like, oh, and then like, oh. <laughs> And she was confused each time. It's like, bitch, I get it. You shouldn't be, you, you keep doing it. You shouldn't be so alarmed. You're already, you already know what to expect. I doubt the third one will like kill you. I mean, it could actually. But she just, she's drinking it from the water. And then there's another character towards the end of like the water fountain thing. And she's like, ah, I have been summoned by a sexy girl. And, and she comes up to her and she's giant and I'm like, oh, okay. Giant can be kind of hot. Okay, I get it, I get it. Cause she's like picking her up like, ah, yes, this specimen. Where shall I stick her? That's kind of cool. And then she's drinking the water bubbles too. And it's making them like really big and then horny and stuff. And um, I don't know, it was weird. I liked it. Gigantus porn is the source of all life. Is it? Is that literally the source of all life? What kind of bagels do you like, Melody? Flavored. Yeah? Giant girls means giant feet. I mean, probably. Who's the girl in the question? Oh, the first one was the one I like with the brown hair with the red outfit. And the other one was um, the purple one I like um, with the small tits. And then um, um, there was a third one and she came up on the wall and she's like, hello. And it was weird because I followed the link. I love clicking on links to YouTube. And I thought, man, if I was much younger and becoming of age and finding porn, like what a delightful world you have of Genshin. I can only imagine, because I have friends that are like all ages, especially like much, much older than me. And so I hear tales of pre-internet days where it takes like an hour or three to down, to like open a page on Google. And Google wasn't always a thing. I know, so I can only think like, if everything's like pixelated and takes hours to open, and then you just go on YouTube and boom, Genshin porn. What magic witchcraft is this? Google is the internet now. I wonder how Mr. Google feels about that. Do you think he expected one day when he was in school, like I'll make something that will just take over and become self-learning? <laughs> I think about that sometimes, the trillion billionaires and stuff. I see them in my head like in school, like as children's being so innocent and then having this thought of like, what will I create one day? Cause monsters are not born, they are created. Hmm? Jeeves is such a butler name. If you ever name your baby Jeeves, like, you're already choosing their profession. It's true. He became shitty over time, especially when his mom was dying. Then he got super angry and stuff. He was already a shitty person though. Hmm? Assigned butler at birth, A-V-A-V. -A -B. 
Hmm. Alfred is a butler name. Oh, I like Batman. Eugene Jeeves McDees. What? Hmm? You're lagging, I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. <gasps> oh, sorry. Um, 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 um. I missed thingies. Thank you, Omen. Oh, District Z, thank you for five subs. I'm sorry, I was just typing and then like, click, click, click. No, we're up to speed. Okay, thank you. You're still on art. Oh, sorry, my tag. I should be just chatting, I'm sorry. That work. Hmm? Nice. Hmm? You are the art sometimes. Oh, I love you guys too. Are you excited for the VTuber tag? Bro, oh my God, that's what I forgot to say. Also, my face is frozen. <laughs> Did I fix it? Cool, cool, cool. Yes! Oh my god. I remember when we petitioned, petitioned, <laughs> petitioned it way back when we were like, VTuber tag Deska? And Twitch was like, no! <laughs> and now, VTubers are cool enough to where they're like, fine! We're very happy about that. We won! It just took time! Thank you! Thank you, Elliot, for five subs. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And Shizuko, I love your stream. Keep up good work. Thank you. Ah! Do your ears ever, um, stop? <laughs> it always makes me a little nervous. I'll just be sitting there and then one ear just, it does this transition and starts ringing, you know? And then I think, oh, I'm dying every time. You're just, what is it? Yeah, it's tinnitus. Oh, is it because I play my music really loud? Like all the time? Probably. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should look into that. You know, that's a possibility. <laughs> I heard for years, ha uh, have any of you been to a music concert before? Like where they play music and it's a concert and there's people everywhere and sound. And then you leave the sound box room and you just hear, na as you walk back to your car. That sound. That sound is is the melody of the little tubal dudes in your ears dying. They're laying down and never coming back up. So you must be careful of your ears, because eventually all the little silly, yeah, all the little little dudes will just lie down, and you can't make them be unlaid down. So you have to protect them. So maybe I should look into that to preserve my future broken body. It's your ears screaming, yes. It seems counterintuitive to go to a concert with earplugs, but... I don't know, maybe there's something to it. Your ears are angry. Oh, well if it's an Iron Mouth concert, you need to blast that shit. <laughs> Don't worry, we have the technology to fix our poor hearing. I'm actually very interested about hearing in like audio science. I met a person whose profession was ear holes. Audiologists or something. She was like, is my friend's, my friend's friend's mom. And 
she was creating this device that hadn't worked, uh, existed before, and now it actually does, so that's really cool. But she showed me how it works, and I think, let me find my words. Ear science is very interesting, because um, you take something that didn't, let me, uh, ah, yes, idea. Has anyone seen Dr. Stone? Lovely. Well, in Dr. Stone, they do science things. It's really chill. I should watch it more. But they do science things. And there's this little character, and she has terrible vision, like me. And he invents, like, glasses for her, as long as she wears this ugly hat. <laughs> if he never came around, she would always have blurry vision forever. In some places in the world, some people will always have blurry vision forever because of lack of resources. Which is why it's important to donate glasses you don't wear anymore to um, charities that send them to um, impoverished areas. But that's a different thing. Inventions blow my mind, whether they're super old or brand new. I was blown away when I heard there was like a co cochlear, cochlear implant is when they put seashells in your head and then you can hear better if you were deaf before or slightly deaf. Cochular? I need to put a seashell. Maybe that's your eye. <laughs> anyway, I think it's a seashell. Um, could be your eye though. I think it's cool that it can give hearing to someone that's never heard before. Like, what a concept. Your entire world in a second has changed. And I read about people who had hard of hearing or like just very, very, very bad hearing and then they got the implant and then they turn it on and their testimonials. Some people are like, I didn't know everything has a sound, everything. Flipping on a light switch has a sound. And for, I'd say, at least 50, 60%, I look into the statistics, people that get them, they leave it off most of the time, unless they're talking with someone, because it's so much to regulate mentally. But yeah, think about that. Everything has a sound. The things we take for granted is like a whole mystery to some people. Hmm? I think it's very interesting. Seeing a kid get those implants warms my heart. Seeing, seeing a little kid get glasses warms my heart. Seeing a little kid get an implant warms my heart. Seeing um, little kids that get um, those really interesting, like very robot looking, like arms and legs and stuff, where if you're in the military or if you're a very young kid, Foundations give you like the good shit. They give you the good robot limb. And then like a little kid, it's like, suddenly they can run to their parents' arms and jump. And it's like, I don't need to eat food. I am sustained by the laughter of children that can run. The color blindness glasses. I know someone who got them. He was very surprised. <laughs> They're not perfect, but they do um, buy a kid, Mel. Are you really telling me to purchase a child? Do you think that's a good idea? Thank you. Thank you, Skyrim, for 1337. Do not purchase a child, Melody. He told me to. Skyer, hey Mel, I think you got the name of the show wrong. It's Vincible, not Invincible. I don't think that's right. He he he, but how are you liking Invincible? You just said it was Vincible. I don't understand. I've read the comic, so it was awesome seeing it become a show. Dude, oh my God. I had the same feeling when I found out there was a preacher show. Did not, it's hard reading a comic and then you find out, oh, 
it's a show now because it doesn't live up to your expectations. Adaptations are usually dissatisfying. Unless it's like The Shining where the book person is like, no, nah, you got it better than me, it's fine. <laughs> or Blade Runner. <laughs> I don't know, I like To Kill a Mockingbird more than the movie, more than the book, but that's probably because, like, Gregory Peck, man, oof, oof, I'm down to clown, I looked him up, he is much older now, <laughs> when it came out in the 40s or 50s, I can't follow him on Twitter and look at that sweet ass. <laughs> Nineteen forties, I see. Well, Gregory, it was nice. It was nice what we had. He died in 03. Ah Gregory, why? YouTube parody to kill a mockingbird? I haven't seen it. Fun fact, did you know that certain Ryo Dodendrons still bloom throughout the summertime. Ah, yes, the Ryodonadrimadrons. That's my favorite flower. My great grandfather gave my great grandmother a Rhinodremaframadon to her when he came back from the war. And they fell in love. And they named their daughter Rhinodremadamadron. And that's why that's my middle name. I was named after her. So thank you. <laughs> Is that a Digimon? Maybe. <laughs> what a story, Mike. <laughs> Which war? The war. <laughs> I don't want to go into my brain and see the timeline where I'm like, okay. Something with Russia, um, Nazis, Vietnam, Civil War. I, I don't think I have the lineup right, and it would make many people upset. <laughs> See? Mel, please. I was looking at the timeline. <laughs> Would you try saying my username with a Spanish accent? Pan de soja. What does that mean? Is that like soldier boy? World War II, wor wait, World War One, Two, Korean War, Vietnam, and then Desert Storm. I know nothing about Desert Storm. What about the um Civil War and the Spanish um? I do love history. That doesn't mean I have the timeline right. Yeah, that's fair. Those were in the 1800s, 1812. War of 1812, I've heard of that. There's too many wars to keep up. What's the Bay of Pigs? Is that when they like, had, like they had their own pigs and the other country had their own pigs and they battled it out and whoever's pigs were stronger won. Contextual history is more important than having the timeline. Thank you. It was a failed landing op- Fuck. <laughs> How do you all know this? It was a Cuba thing, Cold War era. Cuba. That was the JFK era. I mean, I wasn't around, but I hear good things. Specifically that they were having fun. I heard the J the Kennedys were kind of fuck boys. Is that true? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh God. <laughs> well, see, I got it together. I, I have a general idea. I know with um. Mm. Truman? No, 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 I got this. Tricky little dick. 
Watergate Trum Trum Truman Truman little little tr little dick little little dick man um Nixon thank you Nixon he was a celebrity and people were very upset about that because there's like how can a celebrity actor and or a cowboy <laughs> be a president but it happened just goes to show that you can be on the real world and still be a president. Hmm? You mean Reagan? Uh, no, I think it was Nixon I'm thinking of. Not Ronald. Hmm. Ronald Reagan was the actor as well. I know nothing about American presidents. <laughs> I'll have to read into it. <laughs> guy from Men in Black? <laughs> oh god, what if Jaden Smith ran for president? Wow. He got my vote. Oh wow, you all have a very strong opinion and that's that Jaden Smith should run for president. I didn't know that there was so much demand. No, I can't stop laughing at you. Don't be mean! <laughs> Jaden Smith is not old enough. That actually bugs me. That bugs me. It feels like to be like a president in the States, it's like, okay, do you have osteoporosis? No, I don't. Too young! It's like, okay. That's the first check against you. Are you so well off monetarily that you can't even connect with the general populace anymore, philosophically and morally? Yes. Okay then, moving on to the next stage. What? Minimum age is 35. I think, I don't know. Maybe 25? Hmm? I'm just saying, that's, everything shouldn't be governed by boomers. They don't have the same, um, not principles, um, it's hard to relate. For instance, because of all the boomers, is that a slur? <laughs> because of that, laws are really slow. That's why it's weird things, especially involving technology is super duper slow. Cause it's like, what the hell is a YouTube? Put him in jail for 40 years until we figure it out. <laughs> My grandchild has an iPad, maybe. <laughs> Lots, of <laughs> Lots of people are very in support of that. Thank you. I was just thinking about it, it bugs me. You should be represented by, um, your peers. Maybe slightly older, maybe like 30s. Yeah, they say what, they say, oh, 20s. Wild and crazy and then 30s, it's all downhill. That's not true. You can run for president. You can buy a bobsled, you can own children, you can do all these things. As I slur my words, oh shit, creepy. <gasps> Is that the creepy over there? You can make children or buy them. There's so many options. You can also adopt. I just, just call it like a see it, man. Creepy, how you doing, man? Thanks for popping by and thank you for five subs. Aww. Creepy, I'm just talking out my ass. Save me, save me. Adoption is very important. Specifically, you could take your time to make your own, which is a whole ordeal. Or you could help with pro-social behavior by adopting a, um, a foster child and giving them a home where they won't be neglected, where all you have to do is try your best. And you can change someone's entire life 
Just saying. Hmm. How I think about it is like, cause even if I had human flesh skin and was a person, I'd say what, 10, 20, whatever years? I would probably do that, foster stuff. Cause I'd be like, you will not grow up to be a serial killer in my home, no. I'm gonna aim for the exact opposite. And you will learn recycling. That's all I need, thank you. <laughs> Please adopt you? Oh my. Thank you again, creepy. Hmm? It's true, it's true, it is a mess due to um shitty regulations and less money where it needs to be for social services. Um, that's how issues and people fall through the cracks. At a certain point, people are just numbers and I hate that. You need to work on your infrastructure, bitch. Hmm? I don't think they'll allow a cam girl to adopt. What? That's ridiculous. Mel speaking the truth. Mel specifically minded. I really am. I didn't used to be. And then I noticed that the world's in flames and I'm like, well, better have opinions. <laughs> and my opinions are, I want things to be better. And I hate suffering, especially if it can be avoided. Hmm? I'm not perfect and I'm often dumb, but I, I think I have a good moral compass. Nice! I'm glad several people agree with me. Do I want to make my own child? That sounds complicated and messy. <laughs> I'm alright. <laughs> <laughs> no progante, only breed. Wow. <gasps> Thank you. Silver, I'm so sorry. Eight minutes ago. Oh my god, I'm such a bitch. Silver, I hope you're still in here. Thank you for tier three for 15 months. 15 months, oh my god. How has it been so long? Are you willing to Ah, Silver, please still be in here. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. What? Yeah. Mel, make a kid the old fashioned way. Copy and paste. That is how I work. You know what? The only reason why I would think I'd be a good president, the only reason why, is because I know I'm an idiot. But I'm smart enough to recognize it. So I will surround myself with very educated, good choice makers. <laughs> and I will utilize their, their suggestions to make things good. Taking meaningful advice for people that it's their job and they have thoughts and shit. Maybe a philosopher on, on deck. Just have the coolest little weird ass posse. Colorful individuals from all over the world telling me what they think might be best. I'm smarter than the average idiot. I promise. Oh, thank you Sky for 420 again. Mark is very relatable character. Oh, that's true. He is! It's very relatable. I remember when I was young and a superhero and got my face pounded into him. God. Spoilers! I'm very sorry! I said nothing! N nothing! I'm very sorry. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I barely said anything. I'm very sorry. Man, I can talk about dick for days, but then I spoil Invincible and I get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> she must be stopped. 
I don't feel safe around you, Elle. Thank you, Pig Mouse, for a thousand bits. I don't know about being a parent. My mom used to say children are like fart. You can only tolerate your <laughs> Is that true? It's probably true. I think it's genetic. I think because your body is out to get you. People that are staunch like, I don't wanna have a baby, baby suck. Roar! Hooray for being not a baby person. And then one day they're etern eternal, <laughs> they are eternal clock it goes tick 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 beep. it's like a confection pastry little timer thing it's like boop. it's like hey what's up and your body's like hey what's up body you want to have a baby no 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 i have all these things i want to you sure no that's the whole pro the process and pain and all the money and the come on Body, I think that's a really bad time. Like I have all this stuff going on and then my career and the little socks. And then you go online and you're like, oh my God, I didn't know shoes come in small like that. Oh. And then you order the shoes and you have a whole collection of tiny baby shoes. And you're like, ah, I feel like a serial killer. If I don't have a baby to fill all of them, people will judge me. Don't you just want to go in a bathtub and fill it with baby shoes and be like, Ah, oh, they're so small! <laughs> what? I'm sure there's some people in here that actually have a child. Anyone in here actually have a child? Haha, <laughs> we got a few! How small are shoes? <laughs> I have a cat. Well, if you put them in shoes, then you'll also understand. <laughs> yeah, if I had a child, it would be a cat. Cat parent. I don't know, I think people just like smaller versions of things. It's like reverse, honey, I shrunk the kids. I like many things of things, cause it's especially like having, I looked into it on Amazon. They have these tiny little homes. It's like a dollhouse, but you make it yourself. And um, I was looking at ones that look like little greenhouses and they're like this big and you make it yourself and you have little little tiny plants that you fill in it and so it's like a whole living breathing full-on greenhouse but it's tiny and it's a craft for people that focus really hard for short periods of time it's not a terrarium there are many little houses they even have like a ramen shop they're just tiny versions and i think small things are cute if you had a kid would you want a boy or a girl well, they could identify in any way they want, but I think, like, with my starter Pokemon, maybe a boy? <laughs> I've seen how women interact. I can only imagine what little girls are like. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I just feel like it might be a little easier. Rather than it's like, you stole my my dress, fellow sister, so I'm gonna punch you in the face. And like, use my marker to color all of your stuff so you cry. And then with the little boy, it's like, I fell into a quarry, but that's fine. I feel like that's easier to manage. <laughs> <laughs> Best parent ever. <laughs> yeah, that kind of tracks with my brother. <laughs> Mom, we've fallen into a quarry and broken my femur. I'm good though. Can we have macaroni for dinner? 
That's one thing, though, that would suck about me. Candy is super addictive. I would go at that so sparingly. Oh, I'm such a monster. Candy super duper addictive. You gotta hit that shit when when they're very small. That's when you can you gotta act quickly because they they grow super fast. I know several people with parents or children, <laughs> so you have to be vigilant. Hmm. May what your personality? Hmm. Give me candy, mom. No, you cannot have candy because I love you. That's what I would say. Thank you, D, for 1337. Maybe once a week, some ice cream. But mom, nope, love you, not doing it. Yeah. It's so weird how nutrition is a thing. Mel, I think you would be a great president. It's been hard to watch all these craziness in the world since we found a Kennedy's nuts. What? A, a Kennedy's nuts? No wonder Kevin never came back. Yeah, no candy. A Kennedy, Kennedy's. Why are you so obsessed with balls? Jeez Louise. Thank you, Oxl. Um. I'm on the ground laughing, Mel. Just spilling truths and fire. Being in the brain. Must be an ama- being in your brain must be an amazing place. Cotton candy and too much knowledge. It's pretty borkled up there. A lot of inconsistency and too many opinions. Did I mention I had caffeine? <laughs> I bet people are only especially evil if they have a good laugh. Like an evil laugh. I think that's more like... What is it? Correlation and causation? There is a causation between doing a really good evil laugh and trying to blow up the world. I bet there's some people who want to be super villains and they're like, give us the laugh. And they're like, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. And they're like, you know what? You're not cut out for it, kid. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Do your best evil laugh. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Scene. What? Laugh like you're going to murder me. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. That's the knife. Zero percent evil. Woo hoo hoo! Whoop! Ha! Ha ha ha! Hmm? I hope the up dog doesn't get you down. You know what? One day, one day, you guys are gonna push me. You're gonna talk about your nuts. You're gonna talk about your up dog. You're gonna do, you're gonna say something. I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna snap, I'm gonna crackle, I'm gonna pop. No holds barred, I will just explode and dissolve and die. And it'll be like, oh, what happened to Melody? You made her so angry that she dissolved into a liquid and you should be ashamed. This isn't occurring right now. Don't worry, citizens. Nothing is happening. Ah, nothing happened. Hmm? 
Are you hydrophilic? Is that when you put water in your head? I can't play Cuphead because it's too flashy and also hard for me. No, that's called waterboarding. No, I know what that looks like. I've been to X videos. Hmm? Hydrophilic means you readily absorb water to the point where you can do it from moisture in the air. <gasps> that's a thing. That. Crazy is a strong word, my apologies. Susceptible people. They're called breatharians. Have you heard of breatharians? It's okay, I'm crazy, so I can, that's like my baseline, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is, but you have to promise not to try it at home. I'm serious, cause you will literally die. So that, there are some health people, like uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, whom I have nothing but bad things to say about. There are people that are socially recognized as like, ooh, they have money, so they must be brilliant. Or I've seen them on the television, they have a Netflix series, so I can trust their opinion. Oh, look how cool this house is. And they have like lessons and shit on their website. This is good. No. Ratharians are like kind of spiritual, neo Buddhist, like some sort of like very spiritual people, gurus, guides, leaders that teach the art of Ratharianism. And that works on the principle that through practice of your mind, through yoga, alignment of your chakras, all of it, that you can sustain nutrition from sunlight and the moisture in the air. Many people have died, many. You can look into the documentaries where they visit the homes of the gurus and stuff and they're like, no, no, I did. I've done it for 25 years. Yeah, sunlight, man. And in one of them, there was a fight because there was a refrigerator in their house. And they're, they're like, I keep one bottle of water in there a month just in case I don't know. And they fought and they like, they were already in the home interviewing them, but it was like breaking in and ring because they like pushed them aside and went to the refrigerator. And it was full of like Capri Sun and like brisket. <laughs> it's like, you lying fuck. <laughs> Ah, yes, but I breathe in the brisket and brisket. <laughs> and then there was like a lawsuit for slander and libel. And it's like, bitch, you can see the Capri Sun on the video. You're not gonna win this. Someone tell you the name of this guy, I'm gonna look him up. I'm not sure, because there were several people. The one you'll finally find, you'll probably find is this blonde chick. She pops up a lot. She was big in the community for breatharianism. I think she might still be into it, despite admitting she was a fraud. I really like human interest peats. Pizza. Human interest peats. Fuck pizza! Which is why I watch so much trash British reality TV where it's like, did you know this person survives on 40 cans of Coca-Cola a day? This person only eats pencils. This person is allergic to, to, to televisions. This person lives in a hole in their backyard and talks to snakes. I love this shit. I can watch it for days, nonstop. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so fascinated that humans come in so many different flavors. So many different belief systems, like... 
There's no one cookie cutter version of a human, you know? Especially, it's cool. You can take a group of humans that grew up in the same like little toddler grow up place, the same element, like, like schools, the same parks, the same neighborhood, all of it. All very similar variables and they can all grow up to be very different people. And I wonder what's that little thing in your brain and your structures that makes it different? What makes you go a different way? The brain is an interesting thing, and it's cool. I've spoken with many sad people, and people that were previously sad and became less of that. And the brain is really cool. It's gross. It's gross as shit. I will. But you have them, so you gotta deal. You have neural pathways, which is like super highways in your brain. And sometimes the highway caves in. Or like, you live in a shitty household, which is basically Godzilla coming in and smashing up the joint. And then you have to make all these little side streets and stuff in your brain to make it go. But then it doesn't work as well. So, uh, luckily, plasticity and shit, you can always change things. So like, leaving a shitty situation and working on yourself you can rearrange the pathways in your brain to where you are happier. You are not permanently sad. That's not a thing. The brain is a mean place. It can be, but it's also something you can work on. Same with like, if you're fapping for a month, like, 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 I'm gonna be a bodybuilder with one arm and then like one arm is swollen and the other's like atrophied <laughs> because of your social experiment. But then you stop doing it, and your arm goes back to normal. <laughs> you just have to apply consideration, effort, and time. <laughs> your body can stretch and change in so many ways. I don't think you can get taller, though. You can lengthen your spine through certain yoga, but that can't change. But you can get smaller and bigger. That is a thing. Same with your brain. It can become sadder and happier. But it doesn't have to be. It's not permanent. <laughs> I know, I have to deal with it too. I don't, I wanna be taller. Taller if you talk to a doctor with a bone saw. Or you could get those goth shoes that make you like tenant, like, like platform shoes. Those also exist. And then you just need ugly pants that will drape over them. Then no one can judge you. Only God. <laughs> so help you if your God has platform shoes too. So help you. <laughs> Mel's been throwing shade all stream. Am I? I've talked about how timelines are hard. Presidents need to get their shit together. Having, managing children is difficult, but can be cool. Um, responsibility, ears. <laughs> Tiny shoes. Hmm? Being taller than God. <laughs> You've just been caffeinated. You know what? It's because I fell asleep several times today because heat is stupid. I hate it. That's why Krimbus is my favorite holiday. It's a winter wonderland. I could never live in Arizona. How do you live in a desert? There's evil bugs that you can visibly see and there's no snow. What is happening? I don't want to decorate a cactus. That's why Canada's on lock in several other countries. No. Go to Germany, that would be awesome. There's so many places in the world I'd like to see. I mean, sand is basically hot snow. Uh, no. <laughs> I 
did punch a cactus. It was very painful. <laughs> Honey, don't get me started on Norway. I think Norway and me would like fit really well. All you gotta do is get a sunlight sadness lamp from Amazon to cover your bases, to pat out the sadness. And then it's like, everything is so bright and cool. Let's go fishing and um, trolls. I live in Norway. Several people in here live in Norway. Several people. We have people from Norway and Sweden, Germany, a lot of Germany, several French people. Um, I even, outside of who I know personally, like, um, opens house at Sin. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I looked at my statistic blurbs and, um, where everyone's from. Most people are from the States, Canada, South America, and Germany. Yeah. I know a bunch of people from Denmark. I feel bad that there's such a big percentage from South America and no habla espanol, and I feel terrible. I don't have a live translator. Uh. I still need to invade Denmark like Mel ordered me to. I don't remember saying that, but if you say I said it, then I believe you. Chile Presidente, el major, um, hermano? Mi hermano! Mi hermana es, es la Presidente con Chile. Worth a try, I did. I can never speak Denmarkian or Swedish. My accent is atrocious. Que puta. What'd you call me? Yeah, Denmarkian. Denmarkian. The word earthling is really cute. Like what a cute word. I wish there were other planetaries around you. Like, like some Star Wars shit. And you can interact with other planets and be like, what are these earthlings? They'd be like, ooh, that's kawaii. <laughs> A Scottish accent. <laughs> Pog. Hi. Thank you. Hey Mel, this is the first time I've caught you live. I'm very sorry, but I've been following you on YouTube for a while now. <gasps> you were the first VTuber I found. <gasps> and it was actually the moist man that brought you to my attention. Have a pog day. Thank you. And good pog to you, sir. The moistest man I've ever met. <laughs> well, that's awesome, welcome. What is a man but a what where biocomputer that moves and perceives through potassium salt exchanges in a natural born prison for the AI that has yet to realize how trapped and limited it truly is? What? Potassium! Thank you! Meat computer. <laughs> the tuba guy. Tuba guy, I don't even know him. <laughs> Thank you, free gamer. Why? Marking a den. That dumb. Okay, I take the door. Um, enjoy your door. Also, hi, free gamer. 
What's going on? I had caffeine, I had caffeine, I had caffeine. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I had caffeine, I had caffeine, I had caffeine. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> How many caffeine? Dude. A few. Um, cause I was so sleepy. It's like I'm looking at prawn per usual, and I fell asleep several times in my hand. And um my face fell on my keyboard on my phone and I looked up and there was all these numbers and letters and also it said fettuccine. And I'm like, that's weird. XQ111 of the fettuccine H H H H11. What did sleep me want? It wanted to order fettuccine. Which is a food, it's a pasta. But yeah, do you ever worry that sleep you has its own like goings on? That there's another personality inside you and when you go to sleep time, it comes out and assumes your life? Maybe it has a job working somewhere like Costco and its own loves and hates and a family that lives several miles away from you. Maybe they're working on their book. They've been working on their book for a long time. They say they'll finish it and then they get to a coffee shop or something and it's like they end up playing a game like Angry Birds or something. How crazy would that be? As someone who's had somblagnium-ism in the past, where I sleepwalk, that's what makes me think, well, what if it's done more that I don't even know about? Like malware. I'm gonna stop thinking about that. I hope she doesn't get anyone pregante. I don't have time for that shit. Are you drunk? No. <laughs> okay, I take the door. Thank you, Java, for 690. Have you thought about trying my Topia? It's pretty cute, and you can get some pretty detailed characters people have made. I even tried making one of you, and you're of my team as a wizard. You can even use the attack called Explosion, like Mega Man. The little me things. I've seen those characters. Oh, thank you for involving me. Thank you. Aww. That's very kind. It's the first time I've caught you live. But I've been watching you for a while on YouTube. You're oh, okay, it's the same one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I know I have to update the poster, I'm sorry. Melody is just as wholesome as I've heard. Penis. Penis. Thank you. No, I can't say penis three times fast or I'll summon something. Beetle dick. Ew, that's worse than I thought. Summon the Hydra. Put a cowboy hat on the penis. <gasps> that's precious. Oh my god, I wanted to bedazzle my penis. <gasps> I will put all sorts of glitter in the, okay, okay. They don't really do it anymore because it's um dangerous and gaudy, very garish. If someone's like, hey, oh my god, I just got my hair highlighted and my 
pussy bejazzled. I'd be like, oh, that's a little tacky, but let me see it, whip it out, and it's like, oh, a diamond butterfly. That's horrible. <laughs> but they don't really do that anymore because skin glue, people have been very allergic to it, or it can be um, bejazzled sized by uh, an anesthetician. An a Beauty concierge. They've applied it poorly and it can cause burns and stuff and just the whole ordeal. Plus it's ugly. So <laughs> you won't really see it. I think it was a thing in the 90s for like a year or two. I think it's fascinating. I saw it first um, in a TV show. Blue Mountain High. Has anyone seen that? Blue, Ma Blue Mountain State? Very funny show. Wait, are penis real? I've never seen one before. I hear they are. I've seen them on the internet. The legendary pocket pussy, Oksana! Dude, like legit, is anyone in here in school? Oh no, actually that's a terrible recommendation. Never mind, never mind. Maybe in college? <laughs> there is a, there's a scene in Blue Mountain State that I easily would have replicated if I were go to a human college, college, university, institute, where he has to face some bullies. This bully is a dick, which I think goes hand in hand with being a bully, but he outsmarted him. He used some wizard 7G magic in his brain to upset the bully so much that he left him alone. What he did when he got accosted by this bully, he would get real passionate and act like, yeah, what's up, what's up, get some, I'm gonna fight you, but that's not what he said. He would get up in the bully's face and be like, hey, pick a day, pick a day. And the bully's like, I'm not here to pick a day. Cause I'm gonna suck that dick so hard. No, no, no. Stay back. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. If you, you chicken, you chicken. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to suck the dick so hard. I'm going to do an amazing job and people will cry. It's beautiful. To which the bully, his expectations were subverted. And she was so upset that he stopped bullying him. You got me there. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna kick my ass so hard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Ah! Now you know how to deal with bullies. Yes, but that's a very specific insult that you can only apply when you are of a certain age. Much older than some people in this chat. You know what? I'm just gonna make you 40. That's when you can use the insult. There we go. Only do it if you're 40 and up. <laughs> I'm 47. You can do it if you want. Well, I'm fucked then. I'm sorry, man. I started. I just start to watch and I hear slap my ass. I actually didn't say that, but that is something I would say. <laughs> 13, yeah, I know. Lots of ages in here for some reason. Thank you. Ah. Still twitch. Yeah, but I've seen people say all sorts of stuff here. How old is too old? A hundred? <laughs> you mentioned age and everyone posts their age. Yeah, but some people say like 500, man. Clearly they're not taking this seriously. 
Thank you, Cookie, for 512. What is the difference between a chess player and a Fuda enthusiast? I don't know. A chess player doesn't like their queen hung. Hung? I don't understand. Hanging queen is a chess term. Oh, well then that's hilarious. Thank you. I was saying that all your music is pretty hype. I just have really great taste. And I'm just so humble. I think I'm more humble than most people. Definitely. Yeah. I think about it all the time, like, wow. I just, I'm just so much nicer and kinder and, and just than most people. I feel, I feel like I would do more and then like, just my humbleness. It gushes from me. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, be humble. <laughs> no, stop it. Show us the humble. Um. Macarena you've ever seen. Take <laughs> 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 mm. the robot. Wait. Hey, sexy lady. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna be the guy in the elevator. for like, I don't know, like a, like a, a project or something where we're in it or like a slide or something where you need an image of someone really, really happy. I would screenshot the Asian cowboy in Gundam style who's just not wearing underwear and flinging his D around. His face, so happy, so happy to be there. He probably drove there grinning. That is a happy man. And I don't know if because he was free balling or because his hat was so nice. Whatever it was, he was having a good day. I like to think that one day we could all be as happy as a perverted South Korean man in a cool cowboy hat. We all deserve to be happy like that. What's your favorite bagel? Sesame! Rajuku Melody Not rainbow I love rainbow But that's not a flavor Are we talking ancient memes? Remember Neon Cat Leak spin And all your base I mean I know the cat 
Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, I know the cat. Bongo cat. I know Bongo cat. I'm not sure about Mr. Toasty. There's several things I actually don't know what you mean. All your base art belong to us. Oh yeah, that was from a vi it was a video game translation thing. I know that one. The Mr. Leak thing, I, I have no idea. Leak spin. I don't know what that is. That was from Newgrounds. Well, there you go. <laughs> beep beep, I'm a sheep. Well, of course, I'm a pervert. Also, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. When we did media share the other day and it had the minus eight, like the, the collaboration of all the like games put together in the song, you know? And I'm like, this is porn. I didn't know they were from a real game thing. I didn't know it was real. I thought the dude just like made like a weird music-y porn thing. And when I saw it that wasn't nude, I was very confused. I didn't know it was real. Rhythm Heaven. Yeah, I didn't know that. Shit. Uncultured. Or too cultured. Well, thank you for liking my alert. Thank you. I like when also the names pop up like like did a sub or followed or something like it's very it's very minimalistic i need to figure out how to do certain stuff like 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 i've seen people utilizing channel points and like it like plays like a media thing i've seen that i'm not sure how that works and with um chat so i can hear it talking i'm interested in that as well i just don't know how to do it i don't want to scam people All the sound bites where it's like, dicks, dicks. No, I don't want the sound bite. That kind of makes me anxious. Like, ah, sound. I don't think I want the sound. But talking sometimes, chat, where they're like, check out these nuts, 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 nuts. Like, it's annoying, but also funny. The TTS messages. Yeah. Let me use my 133,000 points, dude, seriously. If I assign things to these channel points, all the people that have just had them accrue for like a year and a half, it's going to be mayhem. 270,000. This is going to be so bad. Like really bad. 150, 541, jeez. This is going to be very bad. I'll have to set all my channel points to like, read a message one million. <laughs> Would it make you guys happy if you got to use your channel points? No, oh, all right. No, he said no, so. Yeah, that's true, Noah, though. Yeah. Posture check. That's going to be a million, sir. Maybe some of my mods know how to do it. Bullshit. That better be cheap. Or is this opposite instead of posture check? It's break back. Lift with your back and hyperextend your neck. Give her the raspberry. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
No, what's your favorite meme right now? Um... I don't know. <laughs> G stream on another site? Nope. Days brighter. How? How? What time is so odd? So odd. No streams on Facebook gaming every goddamn day. This is the wrong song. Quarters of time. It's true, it's not the Nanners version. What is my problem? Is hers on Spotify? Get the Nanners version. Um. Hmm. I could see Nanners version of Corridors of Time. Let me see. You sure you want the Nanners one? Yeah, it's called Corridors of Nian. That's right, that's right, that's right. Um, well, if it's on YouTube. <laughs> okay. I also decided I think I'm gonna get YouTube Premium. I'm tired of ads. Nanners of time. Nana. Whoa. Nanners corridors of time. There we go. I don't think she'll mind us playing it. I don't. Why are you dancing? Because it's fun. Stop it, Lynn.
I'm not swinging. Draw something. Explain. If I have to explain, your brain would explode from too much learnedness. All right, all right, all right. Not only will I be drawing, but I will be taking requests. Give me a second. Mel, I need some advice. Oh shit, okay. Neighbors called the police on me yesterday when I saw... When they saw me duct taping some rockets to a deer. I don't understand why everyone's so upset by a guy just trying to make a quick book. I'm glad they called the police! <laughs> Bill! I hope you're happy with yourself. I I love my friends. That's all I know. Oh. I don't about, think that you. is. What about you? I, I don't think it necessarily needs. To. Everyone's Sweet typing French in my chat too. So. Why are there so many French people in here? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's good. Bit... Let's test thing. <gasps> you? you pop up. I got it to work. I'm oh, a genius. Wow. I pop up just like. <laughs> like what? Like a boner on a summer's day at the beach. A summer state boner, that's my favorite. Yeah. Resplendent. She oh sorry, I'll turn it down. Sorry. Ah. Oh, am I really loud? Sorry. I think you're fine. <laughs> the Can you sing Mel? Ah, 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 ah. Ah? Found Ken Oshcrop because of you. Dude, nice! Voice of an angel. I know. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Your voice would be hilarious for sound effects. You know what? I want to do voice sounds for creatures. Million. Aiming for one million next? Will you melt down the YT gold play button into a golden butt plug? Dude! That is ridiculous. Who can find a smelter at this time of day? Actually, I know a guy, so wait. <laughs> I do know a guy, he's really nice. Hmm? Why does the window sound make you guys horny? Stop it. I'm gonna finish this goddamn Zinnifer horse and then I will take requests. For I am a skillful artist. Actually, I will give an example. Give me a thing. Uh, 
a jar? No. Jennifer Timothy. Drop the cake potato. Draw Discord? My little Zen? Yes, it's my little Zen. Draw a gun and fuck you. that cockpit. <laughs> Apparently this is what I think Gundams look like. Maybe some rocket feet or something. And, um, nah, that's probably right. That's a Gundam. Do you like it? Batman with horns? That's a Gundam! Wait, okay, wait. I got it, don't worry. Um... Jealous. Ah. Shit. Hmm. Na 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 na. Oh. Ah. God damn, I'm good at this. A shirt. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Looks like the real thing, man. I think it's good. What do you think? That's a Gundam. It looks so real. <laughs> Says that's Zen. No, that's a robot or a Gundam. Sorry, Zen. Optimus Prime, right? No! It's not a Ninja Turtle, it's a Gundam! That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. What do you Gundam? Maybe he just needed 
is like a rawr, it's a shield. Cause and a lance. Rawr. Yeah, there he goes. He's ready for space. Maybe he needs rockets. Rocket pants. Maybe that's what it was missing. Rockets. Yeah. Now he's ready. Hmm? Shinji, get in the mech. This is the mechiest mech that exists. Legit, literally perfect. What's up? What's up? Do you like my Gundam? Do you like it? Oh, sorry. There you go. Thank you. Gundam is the right spelling for him. <laughs> I nailed it. Ah. Let's put him in the corner, because he's been good. Um. I hope no one steals my brilliant art. If I see it out and about, I'm gonna be very mad. Don't repost this shit. Unless you want to. There you go, bro. Hang out over there. Yeah, he seems happy. He looks like he's gonna... gonna take the space. Is that the new outfit? Easily! <laughs> I've watched the show enough to know that it looks exactly like that. I have to say something. What do you have to say? Looks like he's wearing panties. He's not wearing panties! He has a cockpit! What? Where's the cockpit in the cock slot area? Hmm. <laughs> That's a bee with four legs. No, it's not! It's a robot that looks humanoid. Okay, let's get rid of these instructions. We no longer require them. Where we're going, we don't need instructions because we are individuals. Okay, I got this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so nervous. That looks fucked. What? Can I not write? There. Zen pony. So now people know. Clearly. Mel, is that a fly that is red? What are you talking about? Writing hard. Ah. If you can't write, just left. Stop it! That crops off so I can't see it. Oh, my apologies. There you go. Better? Zipponi? You bit a chunk off of her leg. I uh, it was intentional. Clearly. Alright. Let's get the... Okay. Okay, so we're gonna make- Stop dying! We're gonna make her sassy. Na, na, na. So 
nervous. Nope. <laughs> we'll flush it out better first. We just gotta get the design down. be a draggle, so the ears are less important. Maybe we'll make it floppy. Probably. Hmm? You like it? Oh, Wonderful. Damn it! This is so much fun. Then make it straight there. And then... Yes. This is exactly like you would see in the show. Literally perfect. <gasps> Cassie, hi! Thank you. Thank you for... Hello, welcome here. Welcome back. Hi. Thank you very much. And thank you, Cafe Kaede. For tier three for 15 months, just like silver. Thank you kindly. In Toriality, Mel, you are so adorable and cute. You make me happy. I am on vacation right now. Anyways, I might travel to Candace. Candace, food a dick fit in your mouth. I see. He thought I would read it slowly. You should have used better punctuation. <laughs> you know what they say. Stop it. Thank you, ghost. Had my first day back at work today and I'm really happy to relax after work watching you paint, Mel. Thanks for doing this. Thank you for being here. Fluctuation is for nerds. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Clip in shlomo. I know a shlomo. Slomo. Oh, ha 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 ha. Hmm. You're a dork. It true. Literateness is cool. Do you have a Discord? I do. You have to be 18 and up. Cause reasons. <laughs> it's for the best. After what I was talking about in there yesterday, yeah, it's for the best. Truly inappropriate. I'm not safe for consumption. Hmm? You're still traumatized by it? Well, I believe you. It was truly inappropriate. I was just musing on a thing. Never mind. There we go. That's much better. Hmm. 
Pardon? Smell the door. Needs a small dragon tail with scales. We're not even there yet, man. Right now we're just fleshing it out. We're not on to dragon tails yet. Isn't that like a really, really old cartoon? Do justice to you, Zen. I'll make you proud. Yes. See, I know everything. so humble it's terrifying my humbleness and kindness it makes me physically nauseous just thinking about how amazing I i'm sorry i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry god take a joke why don't ya I'm already a joke, so I know how to take it. I know how to take it. <laughs> Mr. Slider. Thank you. How many bits to sing me happy birthday? Birthday? Bits? I can sing it. <clears throat> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Cumpleaños. Feliz. Cumpleaños. Cumpleaños. Cumpleaños, Feliz Navidad. Happy birthday. Thank you, Cassie, again for a thousand bits. Oh, Captivate, hi. Thank you for resubbing. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I was talking about you the other day. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, your ears? What do you mean? It's not my birthday. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> Zen, you're looking a little rough, but I, I think I got it. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Do you find this sexually attractive? Am I doing a good job? <laughs> what? Oh, wonderful, thank you. I find it most things sexually attractive, so I understand the open-mindedness. I unfortunately 
I'm not attracted to ponies. Because there's so much, I say unfortunately, because there's so much of it. <laughs> A whole area of the internet I'm missing out on. What? Dude, I'm into some rough shit. You know my fetishes. Very open about them. Attracted to charred salmon? Um, that's really specific. Are you? Oh my god, you can't just ask people if they're attracted to charred salmon. Dude, that's like fifth date talk. Let's get the eyes right before I change it. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there deep like, what's up? I see you. <laughs> okay, let's start off with a blank. Oh. Do not be alarmed, citizen. I am a trained anime character do not worry it's okay i've seen captivate draw all the time which makes me an artist didn't you know that's how it worked it's true frick me <laughs> thank you Thank you all very much, and thank you for contributing to my sub goals. And um, 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 um. just being nice, everyone. We're gonna do it, man. Zen, you're gonna look so good. I promise. I won't fuck it up. You all believe in me, right? <laughs> Yay! Oh. Thank you for your encouragement. I'll go cry myself to sleep. Oh, Lavender Town's a really good song. <laughs> Ah. Okay. Pony. Killing it, man. Thank you. Oh man, we're hyping! We're hype training! <gasps> Thank you, in the love for five subs! Thank you, and Astro Line for 333! Three, three, three. And um, fellow to Jen, love you. Aww. Thank you all very much. We're hyping, we're training. Oh, Paraquat, thank you for five subs. Thank you. <gasps> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Thank you. <laughs> you encourage me to try harder. I will bring you glory or else. I am, 
I'm gonna try my best, oh my god, to make you guys think that I am worthy of your love. That is bony. I made her eye very small. <laughs> Thank you, Blazing, for 10 subs. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay, let's just cut out Zen's eyeball. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? Thank you. You guys are so nice to me. What did I do to deserve such kindness? Thank you again, Blazing, for 10 subs. And District Z for 5 subs. And Brutus for 5 subs. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Calm down for anyone that this is eroticizing. I am a professional. Do not be alarmed. Okay, I need to make the body bigger, I see. I will not calm down. Nell does anything. Chat. Hmm, pee pee slow. <laughs> All the pee pee sloths, more pee pee sloths than your body has room for. Ah! Let's get in there. Okay, and then, let me think, let me think. Well, hmm, this is missing something. I know that they make the horses very quiet. Maybe if we make her head a little small. Yeah, there we go. That's what we were missing. Artist intuition, man. No tail yet. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Remix, for five subs. And Oxel for 333. Three, three. Watching you draw is so soothing and relaxing. Love seeing you create magic on a canvas. Big love to a big goofball. I'm not a goofball. I'm a goddamn professional. How dare you? That's why my name is Professional Jones. How dare you? Then I don't know if I'm gonna do you honor. Ah! This is a little difficult. You'd think it'd be easier. Horses are not my strong suit. You know what? Let's just rip out her jaw. There you go. And some of her mouth. Let's rip it out. Grip it and rip it. Oh no, oh no! Melody, you monster. I know. <gasps> I 
I gave her so much chin. <laughs> ah. So how's everyone doing today? Mm -hmm. Dr. Mel. Yes, I am a VTuber doctor. Trust all of my medical advice and surgeries. I hear le leeching is very trendy nowadays. I perform such services in back alleys. Need something removed? Need something reattached? I got you, man. Okay. Okay, let's make her a, um, a, a dragon now. Thank you. Thank you, Dapper. Everyone. Her mane? Not yet, I'm making dragon. Okay. Let's see. Probably take some of her stomach. No. This is a tough one. Um, since her body's kind of turned, maybe. That be right? She looks like a caterpillar on stilts. Thank you. <gasps> this is impossible. Caterpillar on stilts. She is a dragon of victory and lore. And I will figure it out. Cool. It'll look good. I know it will. Okay. So wings are a thing. Maybe kind of like that. <laughs> and then... Kind of cute. Kind of giving her a widow's peak. <gasps> Wing curvature the other way. What do you mean? I'm not done! Gecko pony. 
No, oh, I got this, I got this. That tail is too strong. Maybe something like that? Is that tail too thick? Get in there. <laughs> Thicker. Let me hear a gecko making her a dragon. <laughs> and then she'll have a little. Um, joint yules? She'll need her horns. I need to open a picture of her. So I get the color scheme right. Zentrail. Drago mommy, there we are. Those colors are gonna be difficult, let me think. So if she was a Drago, which she is, hmm. Hmm. Oh, she's gonna be so cute, I'm dead, oh my God. Oh my god! Ah! Are you liking? Are you loving? Her cutie mark? Not yet. First, let's color her in and then we'll add different colors and shading. Mm -hmm. I think this is a good red to work with. Gotta change her ears to horns, clearly. <laughs> don't dragons what? Don't they have dragons in the show? They do. I don't like how they look though, so I'm making a drago pony. A rocker pony. You know what her cutie mark is gonna be? A drumstick. Or a drum. I wonder which one we should do. I'm making little ponies because they're cute. A drum. Cool, cool, cool. I can absolutely do that. <laughs> Cartoon drum. <laughs> this is going to be really cute. Drumstick might look like something else. You're right. It would look like a penis. Give me a sec. I need a simple. That's probably good. Oh, I said what you were thinking. Come on. Hmm. What a great cutie mark. <laughs> tap a tap tap. <laughs> I was thinking chopsticks too. My VTuber can't be this wholesome. What VTuber? Me? Okay, I can draw this. Easy. Gotta make it smaller. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Probably be like... We'll fix it, clearly. Make it round it off. And then. Huh? And then. The metal part from down there. Metal, 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 metal. And then. Okay, that. Mm. Where to put the sticks? <laughs> They're not pee pee sticks.
Oh, it's kind of like a cross and bone and... Oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> what do you think? I'll probably move the orientation. <laughs> Looking great, you like it? That's her cutie mark, yo. Cause she's a cutie. Thank you. Can't believe it's been two months already. Keep rocking now. Two months, oh man. You're brand new to the insanity. This is turning out much better than I expected. She got like how annoyed she looks. I love it. <laughs> and this is a good brush we're using. What kind of brush are we using from Canvas? I don't know. <laughs> so we can clip this in. We'll clip. Who's done with what? I'm not done. Get in there though. Shouldn't take too long. I hope she likes it. Please make it not look like a sunburn. No, this is the color scheme I want to use. If you don't like it, then that's on you, bro, because I'm happy with it. Make you look like a sunburn. Red like her hair, I'm gonna look for you. Hell yeah. Possible. Seriously. On ponies, on geckos. Noses make no sense to me. <laughs> My anticipation for the underbelly is in this. Why? Is the underbelly your favorite part? Why? Why do you like underbelly so much? Tell the class! Is that your secret love place? Tell me of your secret love place. Rock and roll. Your pheromone in the latest receipt. Hmm? Needs a spiked collar. Clearly, absolutely correct. She does. <laughs> I want the face like really, really. Meh. <laughs> Maybe something like that. I don't know how people like do manga. It's too stressful. Like, how do you mouth? I 
I kind of like that. Airborne Fire V? God, just serial killer, sorry. Um, I like that. <laughs> this is the hardest part. That's probably good. The I'm not amused. Stop it. God, why is this so fucking? <laughs> I hate my life. I'll never be content. Almost. Yes, that is what I want. That is it. Did it. You feel me? Ah. <laughs> Perfectly zen. Wonderful. As all things should be. Let's take out the background. There you go. <gasps> okay. Ah. So we can focus on this. Brilliant. Okay, Zen. You will need a collar, that is true. Probably... Like that. Keep your boners in check, people. Rock on. What is this shit? So you're some type of role play? What do you mean? I'm making a pony. Lizard pony thing. Rock the dragon, dragon. Dragon Ball Z. Did you guys have fun celebrating her birthday? Splendid day. <laughs> Definitely gonna need some. One on her ankle, probably. Just cause she's cool, she got extra. <laughs> is that Zen Pony? Yes, yes it is. Probably darker. Darker belly. That might be better. It's similar in color. A cutie pie? Hell yeah, thank you. That's a compliment. This is a bigger undertaking than I expected. So now we have to do it amazingly or I'll cry.
If Zen doesn't break down in tears from the joy, I will be very upset with myself that I was not able to um, meet her satisfaction. No, I'm kidding. The Dragon Pony's looking good now. Really? Thank you. If I were gonna look like a dragon pony, I would wanna look exactly like this, because it's so awesome. Happy birthday, Melody. It's not my birthday, but thank you. If it was, I'd be wearing like a party hat or something. If that was my birthday, I wouldn't shut up about it. I love events, but I am not ready for my birthday this year because you guys like, you write me and you're like, you better watch out. Your birthday's coming up. It's like, it's so ominous. Thank you, Castraz, for 1050. Aw, thank you. Ooh, gifted sub to Wolfie. I haven't spoken to her in a hot minute. I, hmm? I walked around the sun for what seemed like hours looking for a place to grab a bite to eat. Wait, do mine eyes deceive me? And I hop just across the way. I drag my tired feet over to the restaurant even nearer. And as I reach the door, and lo and behold, they took cash and I had only a card. That sounds very sad, Dad. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get your pancakes elsewhere. Very sad. What a conundrum. Do mine eyes deceive? I like your poetry though. <gasps> Love this song. <laughs> Did you have an ATM? What's, what is that? An ATM? What does that mean? Ass to mouth. Oh, um, I don't think we're gonna be doing that on here. If you're expecting it, you're probably not gonna see it here, but thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm using MetaBang. The software is all right. I would recommend like Fire Alpaca or anything else really. But it's the only one I know how to use. She doesn't have enough cake. Happy birthday to me, am I right? Oh man. <laughs> it will not be my birthday in a few minutes. Stop it. Slap that cake. I mean, what? It is a pony, sir. Chill your balls, okay? if we can blend things. First things first, make that tiny. Okay, then we're gonna go from firm canvas second to blur probably.
which is a blur. Primo blur. And then probably airbrush this. Make it very low down there. There. Blending and shit. Good, looking good. Nice, Millie, nice. When I look down drawing, I look like I'm on a drug or something. I like this is from canvas, cow from canvas. What is cow? You wrote the secrets to the universe on your arm? It was probably a poor decision. You don't want other people to find out. Yeah. I'm sorry that I'm less animated. I'm focusing. I still have a vey drawing to do and stuff, so I'm just... Trying to get through my promises. Be more focused, it's cute. Why is it cute? Then you're just looking at me being quiet. That's creepy. There we go. Quiet, Melly. Terrifying. Do horses have knees? Yes. Wow, you're all very certain of this. <laughs> In fact, they do. Positive. Man, you guys are smart. Smart people over here. Thank you for wisening me with your knowledges. In general though, Zen is adorable. Super cute rocker chick. What a punk. I wish I was a cool kid. You are though. No, I'm not. My music is chill, but it's not like rock or cool. Hmm? She can sling some, some hot beats, man. I am not musically talented. I can't play any instrument. Well, I feel like I would be adept at a, at a type of flute, but that's it. You can't play that everywhere. Ah. Hmm? What about mayonnaise jar? What do you mean? I'm not putting her in a jar. Stop it. Why would you even suggest that? <gasps> Have you no shame? Do it. No. I, I will get kicked from Twitch if I put her in a jar. Even if it looks completely innocuous. Inno innocuous. This is totally normal. <laughs> I 
sun's gonna kill me. Don't kill me, sun. <laughs> That's why she's so annoyed. Because we put her in a jar. <laughs> Thank you, frozen guy. For 420, I heard a crazy law passed in Hawaii. You can't laugh too loud. It's set to a certain decibel of how loud you can be. So you're going to have to use aloha. Oh, aloha. Thank you. It was kind of bad. <laughs> Thank you for thinking of me. To tell that amazing joke to. I have grown as a person because of that joke. So you have brought me and the science team hella honor. You've done your good deed of the year. You can now literally do anything and it won't be held against you. You have complete amnesty because you've brought smiles to millions with your aloha joke. What will you do with this newfound power? Evening! You filled that quota. Stop lying to them, Mel. I'm not lying! Who's lying? <gasps> I would never li be lying. You'll never catch me lying because I have too much pride. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Don't boo me, that was hilarious. I'm a genius at comedy. Comedy stylings. Stop booing me! That was really funny. I had to ex I didn't even have to explain it, which means you understood it, which means it was a good joke. If you understand it, then it's a good joke. No, you don't. What about Remix? Don't be picking on Remix. He didn't do anything. Then your legs are annoying me. I wish I was faster at art. I don't know how people are so fast. Fruit is just like zooming. Captivate, just zooming. And then I'm in the corner like, ah, ah. Okay, we're getting most of it now. <laughs> so cute. All right, let's give her some horns. It takes a lot of practice, years. Really? I don't want to spend years. I want the results now. I am giving her horns, thus hornifying her. Her horns are very confusing. They bend in a way that I do not. Like that. Okay. Okay, I got this. Fuck! Instantly fuck it up. Huh. Not bad, not bad. Let's give it a very standout color so I can work with it. Maybe the color that it is. Thank you! Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude! Dude! Wait! 
Shit! Hold on! Oh god damn it! Okay. Oh my gosh. That's Suka Matamitsu. Thank you for 25,000 bits. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, thank you. 25k, hello. Oh mama. So kindly, thank you very much. That's Zuka. How are you tonight? Oh baby. Let's go. Melody is over 9,000. Subs? No, we're at 4808. 4809. You guys do so much. You're really talented at getting me close. Melody, keep it together. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't kick me off the platform, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Focus, but kind people doing kind things. <laughs> Gonna get her a ponytail. This ponytail is very difficult. It's like it has to be something like that. Damn it. Like that. That's cute. <laughs> ah! Thank you. <laughs> God, okay, I'm making it weirder. I'm sorry, Zed. <laughs> Again, what? What? <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Empty Block, for five subs. Thank you! And thank you, Bud for 10 subs. Grumbling for 500 bits. Hey, Millie, I know you, I know how much you love math. Did you know that 10 plus 10 and 11 plus 11 equal the same thing? 20, 20. no, I don't. Stop confusing me and thank you again, Zatzuka. Thank you again. <gasps> Brit is hitting month 15. So many people hit month 15 this week. What does a horny frog say? Rub it. Thank you. <laughs> 15 months too dank. Why are you guys so dank? Oh my God. Oh my god, you guys are so dang. Oh fuck. Um. I looked up in the dictionary and I saw how dank you were. Oh. I really revved my engine. The dinktitude that you guys emit. Then I gave you very, um, different hair. Maybe I should faux hawk it. Just like you accept it. Hmm. Hmm. This is a very difficult choice. Feels dank, man. Feels dank indeed. <gasps> Is 
then I'm not doing you justice. That feels better. This is so much fun. Ah! I'm glad you're having fun. I am having fun! <laughs> Thank you, Brittis, for reslipping tier 3 for 15 months! Roar! Thank you! <gasps> Wait, but it says resub tier 1 for 15 months and then tier 3 for... What's happening? Thank you, that's bad. I don't understand. I don't understand. Are you doing double magics? I told you not to, it's illegal. Glitch in the matrix, clearly! can't mess up the art of a dragon, for they will get you back. They're temperamental creatures. Zenny, what am I doing? <laughs> Taking a lot of creative liberties. I guess this is just what artists do. They like fill it out and they don't always do what they intend. Zen Afro. She got lots of spiky hair. I love her model. I love the huh? expression. Thank you. I'm glad. I do too. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> oh. Zen, why are you so cool looking? Oh man. <laughs> That's really fun! <laughs> Vegeta hair. <gasps> that was kind of like homestuck. Ah. 
looks great so far. Really? That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think she'll be happy with it. <laughs> Please be happy with it, Zen. I tried so hard. That would be so sad. <laughs> ah. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Sin, why you look so freaking annoyed, man? I double feel for all the amazing artists in our community. You guys put in so much effort. Thank you, Mass, for a thousand bits. Sup, bro? Pony's in looking nice. Really liking her little horns. Would love to see you do the other girls one day. <laughs> also, I had an energy drink so for the first time today. Help. You've never had an energy drink before? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Well, okay, for one, what made you want to? And two, all you need to know is that you should panic because if you, if you, wait, don't, pa no panic because your heart could explode in your chest if you think too much about it. But if you don't worry, then you should be fine. Don't worry, that's a normal thing that happens. It's fine. Just don't panic. What? Too late panicking. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what made you want to try an energy drink? You doing a test or something? What's the tat on Zen's butt? It's her cutie mark. And it's a drum set. Ah. Ah. I love watching Cap draw too, because the girls he draw draws are so cute. Does anyone in here follow Cap or Fruit and watch them do art? Would it interest you guys to watch someone teach me how to art? clean it up, but I think the hair area is good. hour shift tomorrow? Jesus, Atsuka. I hope you survive. That sounds like a lot. Thanks for popping in and hanging out when you could. You're gonna have such a long day. Be sure to eat food, lest your fragile human body explode. It's 
seven, I know. Is it normal to work that hard? That sounds like so much work. I would be so sleepy. About half of what? Sucks, man. Oh, no. <laughs> this is taking so long. It's very tiring. No, you should react to Goku versus Sonic from Studio B Animations. Have I? It's been a lot of work at the moment. Butcher since Monday. That's a holiday. I'm gonna be <gasps> what holiday? Thank you, Psycho, for a thousand bits. A holiday? Have I what? More like Memorial, uh, Memorial Day. What is Memorial Day about? Victoria Dan Mon yeah. Was Memorial also a queen? Queen Memorial. Pardon? Almost done, almost done. Ha 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 ha. It memorializes things. I don't understand. So what's the point of it? What's it memorializing? Is memorialize like remembering? What am I supposed to remember? Oh no, I forgot what to remember. Remember stuff, like what? What am I supposed to remember? Remembering memories. No! Yeah, Memorial Day for war personnel that have died in serving the US military. Okay, see that makes way more sense. Well, cool. I hope you guys have a good remembering day. Thinking about those close to you and not who have fought for you. I cannot even imagine what it's like to be in a war. Like literally fighting in a war. It looks very tough. The veterans deserve better? Definitely. So many professions um, that are like the most meaningful are undervalued. For instance, teachers. Feels like the more effort you give, the less you get back. And I hate that. It makes me very sad. Mmm. Yeah, teachers, it should be um, a, um, 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 a six figure salary for a teacher. They are literally, literally, literally educating the leaders of your future society. That's a lot of stress and a lot of try that you have to apply. 
Freaking agreed, Mel. Oh, thank you. I think that's just basic, yo. You, you reap what you sow. You get what you pay for. And if you don't put enough into something, then it's not gonna turn out as well as it could've. Shit takes elbow grease, man. <laughs> also, motivation is key. Motivation is key, but also, n honestly, a lot of stuff in life is like being in the right place at the right time or knowing the right person or... So much of it is stuff that's usually out of our control. And that's very unfortunate. But when we get something lucky, a good hand, we need to run with it. I have good hands. Well, that's wonderful. I'm glad you like your hands. Not everyone else gets good hands. So you need to be helpful for people who don't have hands. Mmm. That said, a lot of it is right place, right time, right people. Exactly. I don't know if I believe in luck, per se. I definitely believe in, co in um, coincidence. And doubly so, I believe in long-term, like, results. For instance, something v fragile falling off a cabinet of mine and then shattering, and I think like, ah, oh, bad luck of mine. But then you go backwards in time and think about it. I created steps that led to that. For instance, leaving it on a ledge, on a board that was kind of rocky and unstable. Me being klutzy and moving around it constantly. Through tiny little actions that were kind of unconscious, over time, it reacted, and I think, oh, I'm so unlucky, I broke, th this thing broke, and it's just not fit. No. That is eventual results from my actions. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. I used to think, oh, I'm so unlucky. But a lot of my own issues I was creating myself. How is Melly so smart? Because I've made so many mistakes in life. The smart thing is, is that I've noticed it. I would be doubly dumb if I didn't do anything about it though. Which, I mean, I totally still do that. Like, I'm not a perfect being. But I try to internalize things, so I don't repeat them. Dummy, thick, scaly boy. Well, I'd say girl, but... Well, yeah. I say everything is boy, B-O-I. So that's fine. Bitch, 
looking great, Mel. Thank you. Is there anything anyone wants to talk about? I feel like I got really political today. And that's usually like a, don't talk about that. Don't talk about it here. Don't talk it on the Discord. And then I start talking and it goes that direction. With my ew socialism. Mm. Hmm? You've been fine? Okay, if you say so. She is not amused. Not one bit. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Oh, you know. Alright, alright, alright. And then we'll be able to present it to her. Is she online? Possibly not. I'll have to DM it to her. Been at least 40% fine. Thank you. That's wonderful. Zen is not live on Twitch. That's okay. I'll send it to her, and I hope she likes it. Mm. <laughs> oh, pretty golden eyes. I almost had golden eyes. When I was deciding my eye color, it was almost golden until the last second. Glad I went with blue. It looks like you like it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was thinking about golden eyes and white hair. How I ended up like this, I do not know. The world is just funny. It doesn't always turn out how you think. I'm sure plenty of AIs are much better at drawing than me. Easily. Wonder what kind of would be like. What what kind of eyes would be like? Those eyes, get out yeah, boy. I like that I'll be able to have completed something online. I hate making promises and not being able to complete them for reasons. But even though my hands are hurting like burning fire ants. I said I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, we're so close. We believe in you. You can do it. I'm almost there, man. I'm at the finish line. I'm almost there. Mm. Almost! God damn! Whew. It honestly turned out better than I thought it would. 
I'm pretty happy with myself. Thank you, as heads, bravo, Mel. Empty block, does this mean Zen is now best pony? Only pon pony, but I guess it makes her best, yeah. Thank you, Anon, for five dollars. Hey, Mel. <laughs> Meaningful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and thank you, Enia Kof, for five dollars. Uh -huh. Oh, same person. Thank you. And Helfing Wolf for making a D's Nuts joke. Thank you. Dart Slanish for five subs and iTig for a thousand bits. Mel, that's a small gap in the tail liner right under the wing. Under our masterpiece. I will fix, I will fix. Cycle for a thousand bits. Thank you. Better than all the ponies from MLP. Really? You lie. I can never compete with such silly but cute things. Never ever. Not in a million trillion years. My little bleep blue. I mean, this isn't MLP. This is something that's not copyright. It's my own invention. Well, actually, it's fine to draw a cartoon character, right? Why wouldn't it be? Look kindly on me, Hasbro. Look kindly on me. Referential. Is that okay? I don't see why not. Her expression is so fitting. She's just looking you at you like, really? You want me to. Banana! Really? Hasbro wants to make a deal with you, Shoujo. We probably shouldn't. That's a dangerous territory. Well, thank you. I don't know. I don't know. They're cute. I like Rarity because she's poipal. Your keyboard, what happened? Change down layers. There we go. Huh. But I want a melee action figure. No, you don't. You want something cooler. Melee action figure. You're gonna squeeze the melee action figure and what you're gonna say? Penis! Penis, block a penis! Baggles! Truly silly. No one would buy that for their family or friends. She's got us there. Yeah. Squeeze the melly and she'd be like, oh. Oh. Squeeze her. What's she gonna say? You don't know me! Ah. Ooh, 
little drum set might be a little difficult. Bunny, how you doing? Hello, hello. We're making nothing. Sorry for my lack of communication, I'm on a roll. One second. Ah. Okay, all we have left, that all we have left, all we have left is The second wing and the cutie mark. That's it. That's the whole, that's it. We did it. We're at the uh, other end of the tunnel and man, it feels good. Cleaning up. She looks scrumptious? That is a sp very specific word, but thank you. Scrumptious is exactly what I was going for for my horse. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Aww. Ah, yes, dear maiden. That's a very scrumptious horse you have right there. Why, thank you, it's new. Good job to you guys for your patience. Mm. I could never be like a professional artist because they'd be like, I need this by this. And I'd be like, oh yeah, of course. And then like, never get it done because I'm like, it's not perfect enough. <sighs> what is life? I'm sure many of you have that problem. Me. <laughs> All right, what do we do? The wing or the cutie mark? Wing, 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 wing. Okay. Before my arms explode. Let's clean this up a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll do drawing streams sparingly because I get too into it and distracted and quiet. And also critical, I'm very critical of myself. Also next time, I think let's do another media share. I feel very confident in them now. I think I'll be fine. No one telling me for being a pervert. I think we'll be fine.
If you tell him, he'll murder you. is not amused. <laughs> it is. <sighs> Looks like a sticker. A sticker? Oh, maybe. If you want to make it a sticker, you're welcome to. You want to make it look better, you're welcome to. Much better. Okay, wing. Ain't no thing but a wing. Guess you could say I'm just winging it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No one would say that. No one you'd want to be friends with, anyway. No, please. What? No regerts. I accept my, um, hatred lovingly. All ill will I'm given, I probably deserve. Oh my god, that Melody, I hate her. Why? Because she's, you know, lewd? No, her jokes, they make me angry. Oh, well, that's fair. Okay, we're gonna work on the cutie mark. This is very, very, I feel like a doctor. This is very, you have to be very careful. Cause this is like the pony's like most precious feature, the cutie mark. Actually, it sounds like beauty mark. That's cute. Yes, her womb tattoo. Nailed it. Oh, that's the point. Oh. I guess you can see it that way then. Let's agree to disagree. <laughs> Shut up. You don't know me. Okay. Fuck! 
This is the final countdown. Okay, well first let's move it. Okay, you guys can see it, cool, cool, cool. Bring it down there. That's a good angle. Probably like that. That's a good spot right there. Wonderful. Okay, let's work on it. I don't think I need a picture to draw off as reference. <sighs> I got it. Little drum kit. I need an image of a draw. <laughs> nice try, Mel. I know. It's probably like a silver white on top, yeah. Like spray paint, cool. Oh. Oh, oh. Don't worry, the battery needs references. That is fair. <gasps> My phone died. I got it. I'll follow the references from my heart. My phone's like, this is on you, bro. metal in between it. <laughs> so I've been watching a show and going to sleep, which is really stupid, called like The Girl From Nowhere on Netflix. Have any of you seen it? watching it because I hate horror. What's a Netflix? It's a streaming service. For crazy people. Heard of it. It's really crazy. Um, you'll find early on there's something really weird about this girl. I think she is a demon. But basically the demon is like, man, I'm bored. What should I do with my demon powers? I know. Let's fuck with the youth! And so she goes into high schools, like as a high schooler and stuff, and she's really cute. She's like, oh yes, I am a pretty and kind high schooler doing pretty kind high school things. And she um, systematically destroys people's lives and she laughs really maniacally. It's like, holy shit, you're so evil. And then she'll move on to the next town. She's like, ah, I definitely destroyed everyone there. Good job.
Oh yeah, it's super spooky. One of the episodes was actually like very funny in the sense like, okay, if I was an evil demon, that's very funny. Um, what she did, a girl who bullied her, she made a stall in the bathroom, a magic room, like a magic portal. So anything that she wrote on the wall came true. So the girl that initially had bullied her because she's really hot and her crush liked her, she like wrote on the wall of the bathroom like, this girl sucks, eh, she, I wish she had terrible acne. And then the next day, the demon comes in and she's crying like, oh no, I have this terrible acne. Oh, woe is me. And the girl's like, haha, I'm getting everything I want. I found a magic place. And um, so everything she writes on it, she'll be like, oh, I hate this person. I hope they die. And then they kill themselves. And she's like, oh, the magic place. There's consequences to my actions. And she ends up telling people about it. And then they start doing all their things and cursing people. And it's really bad. And at the end of it, the demon starts laughing like, oh yeah, I did that shit. And she's like, why? And she's like, <laughs> And then um, the girl wishes that everyone would disappear and then they're gone and then she's alone. And it ends in a very um, black mirror sort of way. Demon is right, she's like, I didn't make you write anything, that was all of you. I just made the wall magic. You really, like, I've really gotten sucked into it. It's super spooky, but like, the girl's really hot, which is why I initially started watching it, despite it being a horror. Because I'm like, well, I can be aroused with a boner. <gasps> I mean, that's so me. That's so Mel. Watching something horrible because the girl's hot. Mm. <laughs> Year and a half, at least I'm the still I'm still the same person you've come to expect. My principles are still there. expect too much of us. What do you mean? All I expect is for you guys to have a good time. And if not, go do something that would make you have a good time. Enjoy your life, motherfuckers. Or else. I said it. If you didn't want to have fun and enjoy your life and do something that makes you happy, why are you here? Hmm. Who's ass blasting you right now? <gasps> Thank you, Fry Love, for a thousand bits. Sorry, bit blasting. What did I say? Thank you. What? 
Thank you all very much. I have no concept of, like, dimension. That's probably fine. Fell in, damn you! Gosh darn it. Are we about done? Have we ended this magical adventure of drawing a goddamn horse? Have we s conquered and set what we set out to do? Something that took way more time than it should have. baseball with those drumsticks. No, these are not bats. These are drumsticks. You are mistaken. That is an unfortunate drumstick, but still. We've drawn Zentrea as a pony. And the gods smiled. For it was good. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. What do you think? It looks really good. Really? You promise? Clear straw? What does that mean? Smoky eyes. Does this makes her more tired? There you go. Kind of cool. And then a little tired because you guys stress her out with your bananas. She needs her coffee. That's the look. All right. I christen this the, the pony of Dear Zentrea. Happy birthday again! Yeah, all right, let's uh, let's give it to her. That sounded bad. <laughs> Yeah, that was a triumph. What? I will give it to her. Time to start working on Hajime now that she's the next birthday now. That's right, she is the next birthday. 
What are we gonna do for it? Thank you. I'm like stretching my hands. I should have done it way longer ago. Thank you again. Give what to me tomorrow? He may is having a birthday soon. I don't know if she should make a 3D cause then what if the pony people get upset? <laughs> also, it's just a doodle. There's lots of issues with it. He means front legs would be Boba. Oh yeah, what if we get in trouble for drawing her because of her voluptuous tits? Silver's is in July. What? You sure about that? Or is that her anniversary? Yeah, mid-August. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you for um, 500 bits and thank you, British, for $10. Tweet it, it looks legit, very nice. Also time to hit a home run with those drumsticks. Just saying. I can give her a background. I wonder what I'll drop her on. I wonder if I can find a picture of Zen's bedroom. Anyone have a picture of Zen's room without Zen in it? Actually, probably. Well, if you find it when I get offline and stuff and post it in, um, um, what, the random picture section of my Discord, I will swipe it and drop her in it. <laughs> Sin's got a room? She from a, oh, she's got her, more or less, or at least her background. Yeah, her streaming room. Steal her panties while we're in there. My Discord server, it's Mad Lad Central. Be 10 months VTubers dominate my evening entertainment and that all started with Mel. I'm so sorry. Any of them, just where Zen would be. Hmm. Which one you want? Oh my god, don't be creepy. But actually, thank you. Yeah, just drop it in my Discord and I'll swipe it in a second. I appreciate that. Thank you for the help. Are you a Pegasister? I would never, ever identify as a Pegasister because that sounds lame as shit. I think brony is a much better word. <laughs> thank you all for spending time with me today. <laughs> Wow, we. It was a good day. We did a lot of stuff. We talked about a lot of stuff. I had a lot of caffeine. I drew a zenny belated birthday art. We almost hit goal, and it is just a good day. Oh, thank you for being here. Thank you for an amazing chill stream. I'm glad it was chill. I started out a little hyperactive. My apologies. You like pegging, right? So that makes you a Pega sister. You know what? You got me there. <gasps> Blazing! Thank you for 6969! <gasps> this has been an amazing chill drawing stream. The Gundam looks dope and the Zinfony looks fantastic. Love the draw. Love the drum tat and small details. And you will and she will love it having a nice rest mouth. Your drawings have improved so much. Really? Honest and true? You promise? I think it's a step up from Cool, cool Dog and King Cloud. 
very much. Aww. Even my amazing, fantastic Gundam? <laughs> Which looks like a beetle going hiking or something. <laughs> okay, not that one. Oh my god, rude! That Gundam <laughs> slaps. <laughs> oh, thank you again, Blazing. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, As Heads as Tails, for five subs. <laughs> and thank you, Phantasma, for a thousand bits. Good job on the pony, Mel. You're an artiste. Good strim. Always a good strim with the science team. <laughs> Aww. What do you mean? Are those things the Gundam's balls? No, it's the jet propulsion rockets on the back for propulsing him. Thank you, Brutus, for a thousand bits. Great work, Mel. Anyone would love to get a beautiful gift like this. Wonderful effort. Ah! <laughs> jet balls. They're not balls. They're metal. He is a metal man. They're not rocket balls. <laughs> They're not balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not meatballs. They're not tennis balls. They're not basketballs. They're not balls. Is the Gundam wielding Satan's tail? No, it's a sword <laughs> or a shovel <laughs> fair enough I will smite you people I should download water I'm gonna die everyone remember to download water and um oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> but dying is pug. You sound goth. I love you all very much. Thank you to my mods for moderating and keeping out the riffraff. Thank you for people for donating and people for following and people for returning and for all the people who sat proper and we're not spamming things like suck on these nuts AI bitch. I appreciate that for anyone who didn't do that. Very kind of you. <laughs> Absolutely. God damn it, questionable! Stop it, Helion! I was just. I was just praising you for not doing that. I have removed my praise. Thank you for everyone who also sent subs towards the goal. It was very kindly of you. How dare you. Banhammer you all to hell. Candice. Stop saying no. Water? I'd prefer like a coconut water. A virgin coconut. Oh god, a virgin coconut. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Friar Wolf. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Confound your balls! I hate balls. Whenever I watch porn, I hate balls. I laugh at them sometimes because they're funny. Thank you, Psycho, for five subs. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Katie, love the longer hair. Meow. Oh, 
Why, yes, balls. God's mystique. <laughs> not appreciating the balls. I mean, of course you have to tend to them, but I'm not gonna, like, praise their creativity. Some porn stars have some really odd balls. It is a rarity to find someone with a pair of balls where you're like, well, that belongs in a museum. Look at that. Your balls are très magnifique. I am weeping with joy by how artistically sculpted your balls are. I am ashamed to have genitals at all in the face of these balls. I want to have them smelted into gold and I want them on my desk as a paperweight. I want to show my friends and family. Truly. I love these nuts. Of course I've heard of a dick sheath. Who do you think I am? It's like mittens for your hands when you're cold in the winter, but instead it's for your penis. Anyway, thank you all for um, being here. And uh, I hope you have a great day slash night. You there, Cooksy? Shut up. I don't need your sass. Consarn it. I don't need your sass, god damn it! No problem. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. <laughs> Bye everyone. Good night.